The space race of 2024 has taken an unexpected turn. Blue Origin's massive New Glenn rocket, after years of development and anticipation, finally made its way to Launch Complex 36 in late November. It was a sight to behold, the colossal rocket standing proudly against the Florida sky, promising to revolutionize space travel. But something wasn't quite right. Within just five days, the giant rocket was lowered, then raised, then lowered again. No tests, no fire, no explanation. Just silence from Blue Origin as their most ambitious project yet seemed to be doing more of a dance than a launch preparation. Meanwhile, SpaceX's rockets continue breaking records and pushing boundaries. The installation of the BE-4 engine in late October had sparked hope. The second stage made its debut shortly after. The payload fairing was stacked, and by November 21st, New Glenn stood ready on Launch Complex 36. Or so we thought. But as December arrived, the rocket's movements resembled a sophisticated elevator, more than a launch preparation, leaving industry experts puzzled and observers concerned. The stakes couldn't be higher. NASA's escapade Mars mission, Amazon's Kuiper satellites, crucial military contracts, and even the Artemis moon program. They're all counting on New Glenn's success. With each passing day of inactivity, these ambitious plans hang in the balance. Elon Musk couldn't resist commenting on the situation. On the very day New Glenn rolled out, he shared a throwback photo with Jeff Bezos, cryptically noting how time flies. A subtle jab at Blue Origin's pace of progress compared to SpaceX's rapid advancement. This isn't just about a rocket standing still. It's about the future of private space exploration, billion-dollar contracts, and America's return to the moon. Today on Elon Musk 24 Hours, we're pulling back the curtain on what's really happening with Blue Origin's new Glenn and why this massive rocket seems more comfortable on the ground than reaching for the stars. Let's dive right in. The silence at Launch Complex 36 screams louder than any rocket engine. Our investigation into new Glenn's mysterious pad dance has uncovered a web of internal struggles, technical challenges, and personal dramas that paint a picture far more complex than the public statements suggest. Late one evening in October, as the BE-4 engine was being installed, Sarah Johnson, a systems integration specialist at Blue Origin, noticed something that would change everything. The interface readings between the engine and first stage showed patterns she'd never seen before. My heart stopped, she recounts. Eight years of my life went into this project, and in that moment, I knew we had a serious problem. The unusual stress patterns weren't just technical anomalies. They were symptoms of a deeper issue that would soon cascade through the entire program. The story took an unexpected turn when a midnight sensor alert triggered emergency protocols at LC-36. Mark Rodriguez, the lead pad engineer, rushed to the site, expecting to find a routine calibration error. Instead, he discovered critical anomalies in the cryogenic fuel handling systems. The readings were off the charts, he reveals. We had to make a choice, risk a catastrophic failure or pull back and face more delays. It wasn't even a choice, really. Safety had to come first. The payload fairing drama took center stage when wind tunnel tests revealed something unprecedented. The aerodynamic instabilities weren't just technical issues. They were teaching us something new about supersonic flight dynamics. NASA's top aerodynamicists were called in leading to a series of discoveries that could revolutionize future rocket designs. The financial story grew more complex when industry analysts uncovered the true scale of investment. Beyond the reported $10 billion, a network of private investors had quietly bet their fortunes on New Glenn's success. One anonymous investor shares, this isn't just about money anymore. It's about proving that private enterprise can push the boundaries of space exploration. Then came the workforce crisis. The departure of key engineers wasn't just about better offers elsewhere. It reflected a deeper philosophical split about the future of space exploration. A former propulsion team lead reveals, we weren't just building a rocket. We were trying to change the way humans think about space travel. But somewhere along the way, that vision got clouded by corporate pressure and timeline demands. The testing sequence took an unexpected turn when engineers discovered that the interaction between multiple BE-4 engines produced harmonics that actually improved performance under certain conditions. 
This accidental discovery led to a complete rethinking of the engine layout, potentially setting up New Glenn for capabilities beyond its original design specifications. As lunar ambitions grew more pressing, NASA's dual-track approach revealed an uncomfortable truth. The space race wasn't just about technology anymore. It had become a test of corporate philosophies. While SpaceX embraced a fail-fast, learn-faster mentality, Blue Origin's methodical approach represented a fundamentally different vision of how humanity should reach for the stars. The story's latest chapter unfolded when an independent audit revealed something stunning. New Glenn's delays, while costly, had led to technological advances that could revolutionize the entire launch industry. The question was no longer just about when New Glenn would fly, it was about whether its development process, despite all its setbacks, might actually represent a better way forward for sustainable space exploration. Current projections still target mid-2025 for the first launch, but this date carries new significance. It's not just about meeting a deadline anymore. It's about proving that patience and precision in rocket development, while frustrating to observers, might be the key to long-term success in space. As one senior engineer puts it, sometimes the longest path is actually the shortest route to the stars. As New Glenn stands silent on Launch Complex 36, its story reflects a broader truth about the modern space race. While some see delays and setbacks, others recognize the meticulous evolution of a rocket that could reshape our journey to the stars. The contrast between Blue Origin's methodical approach and SpaceX's rapid development isn't just about corporate competition. It's about two different visions for humanity's space future. The coming months will prove crucial with NASA's Artemis program, Amazon's Kuiper constellation, and vital military contracts hanging in the balance, Blue Origin faces a defining moment. The question isn't just whether New Glenn will fly, but whether its development journey might offer valuable lessons for the entire aerospace industry. As we continue tracking this developing story on Elon Musk 24 hours, your perspective matters. What do you think about Blue Origin's chances of turning this around? Share your thoughts in the comments below and join our growing community of space enthusiasts who understand that every launch, every setback, and every triumph shapes our future among the stars. If you found today's deep dive into New Glenn's development enlightening, hit that like button and subscribe to Elon Musk 24 hours for more exclusive coverage of the commercial space race. Don't forget to turn on notifications to stay updated on the latest developments in this fascinating journey. We'll see you in our next exploration of space innovation and industry dynamics. As SpaceX's Starship Flight 6 made history, something even bigger is taking shape at Starbase. A new giant has emerged, Flight 7's Starship sporting revolutionary changes that push the boundaries of space exploration. Senior quality manager Kate Tice revealed a game-changing upgrade. The new vessel will carry 1,500 tons of propellant, up from 1,200 tons on previous flights. But that's just the beginning. This new Colossus features completely redesigned forward flaps, strategically repositioned and streamlined to withstand the brutal forces of atmospheric re-entry. And for the first time ever, SpaceX isn't just planning another ocean splashdown. They're aiming for something far more ambitious. Elon Musk recently unveiled their boldest goal yet, attempting to catch the massive spacecraft with the launch tower itself. This isn't just about landing a rocket. It's about revolutionizing space travel as we know it. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours, where today we're taking you inside SpaceX's most ambitious Starship upgrade yet, Let's dive right in. The evolution of Starship represents more than just SpaceX's engineering prowess. It's a testament to human perseverance in the face of seemingly impossible challenges. When the first Starship prototype buckled under pressure testing in 2019, critics claimed SpaceX's ambitious goals were nothing but science fiction. Now standing 50 meters taller than its predecessors, Flight 7 stands ready to prove them wrong once again. The journey to this moment hasn't been smooth. During the final design review, engineers discovered a potential fatal flaw in the propellant feed system 
that could have compromised the entire mission. Working around the clock for 72 straight hours, the team not only solved the problem, but emerged with an innovative solution that increased the propellant capacity to an unprecedented 1,500 tons, a 25% improvement over previous versions. To put this achievement in perspective, imagine loading the fuel tanks of 75 Boeing 747s into a single vessel. That's the equivalent amount of propellant this enhanced Starship can carry. This dramatic increase enables longer burn times, higher payloads, and mission profiles that were previously relegated to the realm of science fiction. The engineering team, led by Kate Tice, has nicknamed this variant the Stretch. Though they're quick to point out that every millimeter of additional height required months of careful calculations and testing, but the real breakthrough came during wind tunnel testing. Initial results showed dangerous instability during the critical re-entry phase, a problem that threatened to derail the entire program. The solution? A complete redesign of the forward flaps, now featuring a revolutionary aerodynamic profile that transforms potential failure into one of the vehicle's greatest strengths. These redesigned surfaces have been strategically shrunk and repositioned, providing unprecedented control during the most demanding phases of flight. During re-entry, these flaps will face their ultimate test, experiencing temperatures exceeding 2,500 degrees Fahrenheit, hot enough to melt steel. Their new design incorporates advanced thermal protection systems developed in secret over the past year. The material, nicknamed Phoenix Shield by the engineering team, makes controlled descent possible even under these extreme conditions. When asked about the development process, one engineer revealed they went through over 200 different composite formulations before finding the perfect combination. Perhaps the most audacious aspect of Flight 7 lies in its planned recovery method. SpaceX is preparing for something never before attempted in spaceflight history, catching a massive spacecraft with a launch tower. This isn't just a dramatic flourish, it's a crucial step toward achieving true rapid reusability. The catching mechanism, dubbed Mechazilla, has undergone extensive testing, including a series of high-stakes trials using full-scale mock-ups that push the limits of precision engineering. The economics behind this innovation reveal why SpaceX is pushing so hard to make it work. Traditional space launches have historically cost between $1,000 and $20,000 per kilogram to orbit, equivalent to shipping a smartphone's weight in gold. With Starship's planned capabilities, SpaceX aims to slash these costs by an unprecedented factor of 316. This would bring the cost per kilogram down to as low as $30, cheaper than shipping some packages across the country. But a recent discovery has made these cost reductions even more crucial. Scientists analyzing data from the James Webb Space Telescope have identified several near-Earth asteroids rich in rare Earth elements, materials essential for everything from smartphones to electric vehicles. The only barrier to accessing this trillion-dollar treasure trove? The cost of getting mining equipment into orbit. Starship's innovations could finally make asteroid mining economically viable. The implications extend far beyond research.